Welcome to the Half Done Hobbyist. My name's Simon and I'm very happy you've joined me today. Now, today we've got something I'm very excited about. We've got Limbo Eternal War, finally. I'm so happy that it's finally come through the door. I wasn't even expecting it. Um, I backed this Kickstarter in August 2018. Um, it's taken a while to ship. Obviously it's shipped late, but I'm still excited for it, so I can't wait to get stuck in. Um, now, this is only the core box plus the stretch goals because I didn't even know I was going to start a YouTube channel two years ago. So if I had done that, if I had known, um, I would have backed the, the all in pledge um, just to so I could show you guys uh, what it's like. But I'm not psychic, so all, we, all we've got is the core box plus the stretch goals. So I hope you enjoy it. So this is box one from the set, so I'll be opening this first, let's see what we've got, a very high quality box, um, the lettering's lovely and the artwork's really good. I did notice a small sm spelling mistake on the back of it, um, it's the choking warning, it's spelled choking. So, but I'm not really fussed. So, here we've got the rule book, very nice and thick. That's beautiful. Full colour rule book. Love it. It's quite a Lord of the Rings vibe to it. I love the paint jobs they've got for these models. Excellent. Here's the board. It's actually quite thin. If you're used to the Games Workshop cardstock, this is actually quite thin and I don't want to say flimsy, but doesn't feel like it'll last very long. It's double sided. So that looks like a, an icy tundra. Let's put that to the side. And here we've got a big tree of miniatures. Sure this is what you all came to see? Let's move that to the side. Get the detail on that. Lovely big shield for a bit of painting. Cool. What will we go for next? Look at that. Look at the dynamic pose. That's brilliant. I have to say, I'm, I'm happy already. There's someone with two swords. Looking awesome. I'll try to keep it in focus for you. I've just noticed these bases, if you take a look. Now, I've got a roller from Green Stuff World that does that exact pattern, which is good to know. There's an archer. 
Now the story in uh, Limbo, Eternal War, is basically a war between men and demons. So, just the, your standard fear, really. That's a really good one of him going for his arrows. These poses are just incredible. I love them. I didn't really need any more painting projects, but it looks like I might have one. Um, this pikeman looks good. It's more a halberd than a pike, but it's awesome. If you're about to fight someone and they were standing in this pose, would you think this will be easy or would you think this guy knows what he's doing? I don't think I'd take him on. I have to say these are some of the best fantasy miniatures that I've come across. Just from the poses, never mind the sculpts, which are also great. Look at that. The proportions are all right, they just look proper. They're just really, really lovely miniatures. Brilliant. They look very clean as well, there's hardly any mould lines on them. soldier. Looking awesome. Look at that, isn't that just beautiful? The reason I picked these miniatures up, or back this Kickstarter, was because I was just used to Games Workshop stuff and I wanted something a bit different to paint. And this is certainly it. Looks a bit like Frostmourne from World of Warcraft. an altar. Double sided. Half naked guy with a crossbow. This is just a first impression. I'll get into um, lore and backstory in another video. There's a sheep. A rather surprised looking sheep. I nearly forgot about one of my very favourite miniatures. I know for a fact she's called Yakun. And it's just an absolutely gorgeous model. This one's available in a 75mm as well, I believe. Um, now, I've been looking forward to this miniature for two years and I've got it and it's warped all to hell, so I'm going to have to do a lot of work on this, but still looking forward to it. The wee pegs out and she's leaning over to one side, she's meant to be more, more like that. 
So, oh well, can't win them all. Right, that's that trade done. So, I will. You can see you get two of most of them apart from the special characters. So, I've got cards, dice, more miniatures, these look like the demons. I'll get rid of this box. Just have a quick look through the dice first. Six is this symbol here. We've also got some detent. So there's like three D10s and the rest of D6s. cards. I will, like I say, I'll learn how to play this and I'll go into these in a different video so bear with me and I'll show you the demons. Look at this. Lovely. These are this is the first time I've clapped eyes in these miniatures and I'm very impressed. I'm so impressed. Just do these quickly. There's a skeleton. A rather scary looking skeleton. Not often that can be said. Lots of t detail and texture on this cloak. I'll just show you two at a time. Those are two different poses, they're just a wee bit similar. It looks very purposeful. I've never known skeletons to look so purposeful. Big demon. Look at that sword. Looks like that's very, <laughs> very warped there. So I'll have to fix that with some hot water. Nice. A wee bit of detail in the base. There's two of those guys, two of these guys, very cool, and this guy just looks awesome. They're very striking, I just, as you probably gathered, I'm very happy with them, oh, that's the same one. There we go. Special character. Is it a special character? No, there's two of these as well. So, all good. Um, another cool wee skeleton. Another ghoul thingy with a bone scythe. Like I say, bear with me. I'll find out what these are and 
tell you in a future video. That we go. Two of them as well. One of these guys. Now I thought this guy would be bigger, but very detailed. Got a big base. I like it. And look at this. A beautiful model. That is awesome. And that's it for that tree. So we're onto a new box. Same as before, except it's got a two on it. Got a bunch of counters. Let me just open this very quickly. This is better, this is what I'm talking about. These are nice counters, look, I don't know if you can cut, if the camera's picking up the texture. But it's like a linen texture. So, this is the kind of quality I was hoping for. Yep, that's single sided. Not the thickest in the world, but still nice nonetheless. I've got these ones. Let's get you back in focus. So, got those, and they are double sided. Lovely. These game tiles, they're double sided apart from the corner pieces. Same again. A few wee count yellow counters up the top. Now these things are just falling out of the, the cardboard so you won't get any tears or snags in them. So always a good sign. It's like when you do a poorly cut jigsaw and you get wee rips all over it. Not good. Now, I think this is what we've been waiting for. The big guys. We'll go with... This guy was actually the reason for me backing this Kickstarter, his pose was amazing. You could also get these in much larger resin versions, 75mm I believe. So I'm really wishing I'd, I'd done that. Look at that. I just love the poses. We'll put him to the side and... This has come apart. I don't know if that was for shipping. Let's stick them back together as best we can. So, look at that. He's huge. Might actually be a blessing that you can take it apart. Look at the detail in the lady in his base. I'm loving that. Set that aside, I need to fix that. And 
Now, have you ever seen such a good looking horse rider? Probably not. They've absolutely knocked it out of the park with these minis. The bases are a bit generic, but the poses on the miniatures are just amazing. Here's a big lump of a guy. This will this would take ages to paint. There must be a quick way of doing it. Uh, not quite so keen on him actually. Um, he's just a bit all over the place, but can't like them all. And here we've got the bloodthirster. Sorry, a big demon. He doesn't look like a bloodthirster though. I'll just stick his wings in. Just slot right in there. Or do they? And just to add to the bloodthirster vibe, got his massive axe. I know he's not quite as large as the new Bloodthirsters, but look at that. What a mini. Mini. He's giant. Let me show you just... There. Yeah. So there you go. That's how big he is. He'll take a while. This big brutal looking guy with a big meat cleaver. I love the double horns on his head. He's got a lot of detail, a lot of texture on him. That um, chest muscle is really nice as well. Recently did a painting of beginner's painting guide to the Hulk. Um, it would have been nice if he had a bit of texture on him like that. Here's me blaming the sculpt for my paint job. And here... It's all wrapped up in a big snake. Beautiful. It'll be a lot of fun painting these, I tell you. Now there's a few bent swords and things like that, but nothing that you can't live with. Um, in fact, I'd go as far to say as it's all good. Mr. Shield is covered in weapons, so I shall show you what he looks like all put together. get a bit of glue. So there's another sword that just pops in there. So very cool. Like I say, it's been almost two years since I first backed the game so I did read up on it at the time but in the intervening two years I've kind of forgotten it all. Oh I've got two more boxes. I've got this one. Let's see what's in here. So, we've got more mini minis. These look like good guys. Very nice. Cool dwarf. Lovely. Look at that yet again. Brilliant pose, very dynamic. And this was actually them um, halfway through the Kickstarter. They had to lower the quality of the poses 
to reduce costs a bit because um, they'd underestimated how much it would cost for the poses they wanted, so I can only imagine what they had in mind. That's a gargoyle type thing. Cool. Let's see, cool. And last but by no means least in this box, looks like one of the Hawkmen from Flash Gordon, but I'm sure it's not. Lovely. Beautiful. So that's that box done. So here we've got two big guys and lots of packing what's it? So I just put these out of here. So you can't really complain about that. That is awesome. Hundred percent absolutely awesome. I'm loving that. The only thing is, the wings are a bit thick. That's the only thing I would change about this, just make the wings a wee bit more delicate. Don't know if you're picking that up, but... You know what I'm saying. That is one big model. And back to the... What's its box? I'll have to go digging through this to make sure I haven't missed any. Come on. Out you come. No, I think we've got them all. So, there's this big guy. I'm sure he's a good guy. I'm just kidding. He's actually tearing a guy in half down here. Looks like he's just carrying this guy about. Maybe he's his snack dude. And up here, just carrying a woman about, as you do. So, yeah. He does not look pleasant at all. And the good thing is, he's beautifully sculpted. Now there'll be a bit of gap filling on that and if you've seen my Hulk video you know that that's a weakness so I might use this to try to improve my skills in that area. So yeah, he's awesome. I just love this guy that he's ripping in half down here. It looks brutal. So that's a quick look at the miniatures from Limbo Eternal War. Um, if you enjoyed this video hit subscribe. If you've got anything to say just pop it in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon for the next one. Cheers!